My mother is my role model. She motivates me and inspires me to grow beyond my expectations. I remember when I was a kid that I told her that I was going to become a flight attendant because I loved airplanes so much. <laughs> she asked me why I didn't consider being a pilot or an aerospace engineer. And I was like, ooh, I can totally do that. So she always pushes me to think beyond stereotypes. In my spare time, I try to get more women into engineering, so I mentor high school girls. Really, when a girl is growing up, the first toy that she's going to get is not a computer or a Game Boy. It's usually a doll or, I don't know, um, a Barbie house or something like that. So shifting their focus a bit and saying, hey, but you know, you love all these apps and you use them, right? And you could also, you know, make one by yourself. I grew up in Burundi. Burundi is a very beautiful country. Uh, I grew up during the civil war, so I still have some bit of a trauma. Uh, for instance, sometimes fireworks makes me um, think about gunshots. After high school, I ended up finding out about some scholarship in Canada, and that's how I stumbled upon computer engineering and doing research at the Advanced Real-Time Simulation Lab at Carleton University with Professor Gabrielle Weiner. My research was about building software for embedded systems, combining advanced mathematical concepts with modeling and simulation. What this basically means is that we ideally want to build you know, software that we can entrust our lives to, especially when it comes to critical devices like uh, pacemakers, a car, an airplane. Those devices usually have an impact on people's lives. The atmosphere in the lab was great because it allowed us to be creative and come up with new ideas and test them out, sometimes fail and sometimes succeed. And that helped me in my current position, which is being a production engineer at Shopify, because we get to work on new things, uh, push the boundaries, we always have to constantly innovate. So <laughs> we get to um, fail big, but we also need to learn how to recover really fast. And I think I got the foundation of that from my research. Looking back at my life, I would love to know that I helped um, shape the tech industry and solve problems in order to make people's lives better. I would also love to know that my mentoring helped some people along the way to get into you know, the tech industry. It's awesome to see a girl realize that tech is not a boy thing and realize that they actually have the abilities to, to be the builder of the tech products that they usually use. So I'm kind of trying to do what I can to change their issues. <laughs>